Buenos dias muchachos, today's video is my review on the hotel we're staying at, the Golden Crown Paradise in Puerto Vallarta. I didn't want to do this review prior to today because I wanted to get a nice feel on it. So we've been here for seven days and I feel like I've got a good handle on it. Like the quality and cleanliness of the rooms, the, you know, the staff, just the whole vibe of the hotel. And I want to give you a quick rundown of it. It's probably not going to be quick, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got little videos of all of the different areas, like the dining area, the beach, the rooms, everything. So I'm gonna run those while I talk about everything in this video. Okay, I wanna start off with the main dining area here. It's the uh, daily buffet. They have it open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, the tables, they're absolutely beautiful. Beautiful napkins, table spread out. Um, the chairs are actually outdoor patio furniture, so they're made of that woven wicker. The entire area is covered with this like glass ceiling that has fans that are super, super nice because it adds a lot of air. And it's called Bella Vista. It's got this really cool wooden backdrop to it. And in the middle, like between the tables, there's these cool orbs that have fountains built in and they just run water all over the place. The hotel has a really cool setup. It actually has all of the rooms at a 45 degree angle. So they're not all facing the courtyard. They're actually tilted towards the beach. So every room has a nice view. In the middle of the courtyard, there's a statue of three dolphins, which is really, really neat because it just adds this eclectic feel to it. There's plenty of lounge chairs by the pool and there's this cool bridge in between the pool and the pool jacuzzi area. The pool and the jacuzzi area is an infinity pool, so it's really nice because when you get all the way to the end of the pool, you can see the ocean. Now there's three bars on this property and they are fully stocked and fully staffed all the time. Unlimited, all-inclusive booze. Now on the beach, there's these beautiful lounge day beds, which are super, super comfy. They actually have mattresses and like curtains so that you can get nice shade and a nice relaxing tan on the beach. There's also hammocks on the front side of the hotel in between the beach, so it's mostly in the shade all day, so if you just wanna kick it on a hammock all day and not get sunburnt, that's your spot. And they're actually on the way to the Breeze Bar, which is the bar that we've liked the best because it's on the beach. This bar has a huge thatch roof with ceiling fans, and it creates this nice, like, open air ocean breeze all the time. At this bar, they have snacks all day, like fruit, granola, nuts, and sandwiches, and at night, they have sushi. And also this bar is fully stocked. Plenty of beer if you want. Now, as for amenities, on the back side of the hotel, there's actually dual tennis courts and people use them all the time. They're just constantly playing. So it's really, really cool to see when you're walking to your room. There's also a fitness center with treadmills, bikes, free weights, resistance machines, and a pretty decent sized workout space with like different yoga mats and medicine balls. Now onto the beach. It's big, it's amazing, the sand is clean, the staff cleans it all the time. And on the right side of the hotel, there's this big rock pier that has this canopy at the end of it where they do morning yoga. As for activities for the hotel, each day it's different. Like today, it was yoga, fitness in the water, there's bingo, there's water polo, and then there's volleyball. And then there's a show every single night and on Saturdays, there's a casino. Now let's get into the rooms. Our room had one king size bed. You can also get them with two queen size beds. The bedding is a triple sheeting layout and there are four pillows. There's a small seating area with one chair and table. There's also a dresser with a huge mirror and a small chair so you can pull out and use it as a vanity mirror to do makeup. They also provide a bunch of lotions, soaps, and body products in the room. And then there's this really cool blue room information guide. I just like the texture of it. The room also has one very, very powerful ceiling fan. It's like a propeller on an airplane. Now the balcony for the standard room is a decent size and it's got two chairs and a table. The bathrooms are just standard. It's a fully tiled tub with a shower combo and a standard four piece layout. Now what I really wanna show you is the end room suites. They're the same size rooms, but the balcony is extra, extra huge with a jacuzzi tub and an unobstructed ocean view. I really wanna get one of these rooms next time. Let's talk about the food now. The food at our resort, the Golden, the Crown Paradise Golden, at the buffet, the breakfast spread is delicious. They got plenty of fruits, breads, you know, eggs, omelets. It's super good. But when it comes to lunch and dinner, 
the food, there's like 11 trays of food. It's indistinguishable. Like, there's a name of like what the food is, but you're like, no, 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 that's that's not that. Like, it's not that great. But the hotel next door, the Crown Paradise Club, it's uh, child friendly. So th this one's adults only, that one's child friendly. They got like 35 different trays of food. You know, you can get a nice variety of different things. Each day they change it to like Italian or Mexican or whatever barbecue. So we've been eating there every single day. They also have about six or seven restaurants on property that you have to make reservations for the day before. But I never got around to making the reservations because we just, we didn't feel the need to do that and like sit down for dinner. We've just kind of been eating, we've been free eating, not like planned meals. So we didn't experience another, any of the restaurants. So I can't give you my opinion on those. From what I saw through the window, they were very decorative plates. Like the desserts looked delicious. They had the flaming, you know, Mexican coffee. So definitely a thumbs up, like from just the look of it. Overall, the hotel was kind of perfect. It was a cheap price. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's just right in the middle. And I don't spend much time in the room when I'm at these kind of resorts. I'm always on the beach and I just use this place to sleep. Housekeeping comes in every single day and cleans your room, so there's no sand, you know, you've got clean sheets every day. It's really, really nice. It is a little bit rough around the edges, like our lamps, they have a little bit of rust on them. The caulking and tile grout is a little bit cracked and chipped here and there and filled in with different colors. This table right here that I've been doing my editing on is a little bit wobbly, but I just shoved something underneath so it, you know, it was nice and stable for me. The staff is super friendly, but if you tip them, they will serve you better and like literally refill drinks as you finish them so you never have to worry about ordering. Now this is a timeshare property, so when you do check in, they are gonna try to pitch you to come to their timeshare sales meeting. So, I mean, if you wanna get like, free rhythm of the night tickets or whatever, then yeah, go do that. And I just don't wanna waste a couple hours of my vacation listening to a timeshare pitch just to get something for free. So not for me, but maybe for you. Now, as for the drawbacks, Wi-Fi, absolutely horrible. I would suggest the hotel like offer a paid service. So, you know, you pay a certain amount of dollars per day to get like super fast internet, especially for people like me that need to upload stuff to the internet. Our climate control in the room, it's a nice digital readout, but the problem is you can set it to a temperature if you want, but it's just gonna keep running and it just keeps going. So ours, you have to actually turn off and turn on. The other room that Ada's parents have, it works. Like you set the temperature and it goes to that temperature, then it turns off, then it turns back on. It works, ours just doesn't. Every time the housekeepers are out, there's also maintenance staff working on every room. So I'm assuming that they're just constantly like fixing these rooms, but they're starting to deteriorate. Like their room, when they checked in, the whole top shelf of the closet was like, kind of had water on it because there was like a leak in the condenser or something from the air conditioner. So it was just like creating this humid, drippy mess up there, but they fixed it the next day. We didn't even ask. It was just like on their agenda to fix. The bathrooms around the property, um, they're kind of stinky and smelly and uh, one of them didn't even have a toilet seat, which I mean, I just squatted, so it's good. And then the other downfall was that, you know, right next to the tennis courts, there was a lot of construction. Like they were literally tearing an entire building down. So starting at nine o'clock in the morning, just jackhammers. But we were already up by nine, so it didn't bother us. I mean, if you're uh, hung over and you want to sleep till noon, gonna bother you. Other than that, the hotel was great. The price, I mean, the price versus value and what we got, totally on par. So I like this place. I don't know if I'll stay here again, but I mean, if you're looking for a good cheap vacation spot and you've never been to Puerto Vallarta before, like, I mean, this could be your first stomping point and then go and look around and see what else works for you. And uh, let's see, out of 10 stars, what would this get? I'd say like a 7.8 on my book. You know, it's not super luxury, it's not low end by any means. It's a good middle ground, it's a good budget hotel. It's got everything that you need. And if you're traveling with family, like this is gonna be your most cost effective option. And it's good, I mean, they got a pool, they got bars, they have food, the beach is great, the waves are good. Like, I can't complain.
It's not super high end though, that's why I get the 7.8. Well, that's all I got guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, leave it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one and other travel videos. And I will see you tomorrow.